Hey, basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training, and today I'm going to give you the Gonzaga Continuity Basketball Offense. This is a great basketball play and offense that you can run with your own basketball team, especially if you're in that high school range. They're generally smart enough to be able to run a play like this. Let's get down to the clipboard. Let's check this out. But first, really quickly, if you're a basketball coach looking for a fantastic defense, go check out my Unbeatable Basketball Defense book in the link in the description below but also my newly printed or written perimeter basketball defense down in the description below basically the unbeatable basketball defense is a double team from the free throw line and below and the perimeter is a double team from the free throw line and above without leaving any players or areas of the court open let's get down to the clipboard let's check out this basketball play okay so in this first play we're going to have player one pass over to player three and we're going to be having player five set a screen for player three at this time, player one, he's going to be cutting out towards that left wing. And now we're going to be having player four pop out towards the point. Player three is going to use that screen and he's going to be passing over to player four. After this initial screen, player five is going to then move towards that low post. And once player five, or sorry, player four gets that ball, player three is going to move out towards that right wing. And player two is going to be setting a screen down on player one. Player one is going to use that screen. And we're going to be having now player four pass over to player one. And now player two, he's going to be clearing out towards that right side of the court. He's going to be clearing out, and we're going to be having player 5 pop out towards the three-point line at the same time, and player 4 is going to be setting a screen for player 1. Player 1 is going to be using that screen. He's going to be then cutting towards the rim, and player 4 is going to be popping off of that screen, and this will be a screen and roll. Now, at this time, we're looking to have player four hit that layup or player one taking that mid-range shot. Now, if the drive or this layup off of player four rolling towards the basket is not open, what we're going to be looking to have done now is player one passing over to player five. And now at this time, once player five gets that ball, he's going to be now passing over and having player three either screen for player two this is one option player one and four are going to be popping out either player three is going to be screening away and player two is going to be then popping up towards the point where he's going to receive that pass and now player five can set that screen and this will be the screen and roll as well or this could have been a dribble handoff, but either way, instead of it being a pass and a screen, we're going to be having a dribble handoff. So that would look, after that screen and roll over here, where player 5 would still have that ball. Player 2 would be popping off of that screen. Player 3 is rolling across, and instead of it being a pass and then a screen, what we're going to be having is just a dribble handoff. Player 2 comes off of that. Player 5 rolls towards the basket. Of course, if there's open lanes, then we can take it. If not, player 2 passes over to player 1. This will now be a screen down for player 3. Player 3 pops off. Player 4 continues across. And now player 1 sets that screen and roll with player 3. As you can see, this is a continuity offense, which means it's basically a motion offense. You're going through the same motions after the initial setup over and over again. So that's the basics of the offense. Now let's throw some defense in and we can see how this offense works against a different man-to-man -man defense, but also some different zone defenses as well. So we're going to start with a man-to-man -man defense and then we're going to move on from there. So now what we're going to be having with this offense is player five is going to set that screen and we're going to be having player two pop up and player one is going to pass to player two and now player five is going to be rolling off of that screen player one is going to then cut through player one is going to be popping up and now player five is going to cut through if he's open you could hit him up but he's going to be popping out anyways because this is the initial just setup we're now going to have player three set a screen down for player one 
We're going to be sorting out that defense on this side. And now player 3 is setting that screen. Player 1 is popping up. Player 4 passes to player 1. Player 3 is rolling across the key. Now if player 3 is open, you could hit him up. If not, then he's going to be clearing out towards this side. We're now going to have player 4 set that screen on player 1. Player 1 is going to use that screen. Now if there's a switch and player 4 rolls towards the basket, then 100% pass it to him for that. If not, player 1 is going to pass to player 2. Player 2 is obviously going to be running towards that man to receive that pass. And now he's going to be waiting for player 5 to set a screen down on player 3. And now what we're going to be having is player 3 popping up. He could be open for that shot. Player 5 is going to be cutting across. And now we're going to be having player 2 set a screen down on player 3. Player 3 is going to come off that screen. He could take that shot or player 2 could be rolling. And again, this is just a continuity. So you'll be running the same thing over and over again until you have an opening to take and score. Now against a 2-3 zone, this is going to be a trap up top. We're going to now have a screen down player three popping up player one cutting through that's going to bring the defense over like this and now we're going to be having player five he's going to be rolling off now of course this could be a quick pass down but most likely player five will be covered and now we're going to be having player four he's going to be popping up and he's going to be getting that ball received from player one now before this this defense shifts over we're going to be having player 2 set that screen down for player 1. Player 1 is going to receive that ball and player 2 is going to be rolling towards the basket. Now that roll is probably going to be covered but player 1 could have that shot. At this time we're going to be having player 2 continue out, player 5 pop out. And now player 1 is going to be popping over, player 2 is going to be moving over. And now what we're going to be having is player 4 set that screen on player 1. Player 1 is going to use that screen and this is where we're really looking to have player 4 receive that pass because we're trying to always get a paint touch against a zone. So with a paint touch that's going to be pop bringing in possibly players 3 and 5 and we may have 3 options out on the wing for player 4 to pass to for open 3 point shots. But again if that's not open we've now shifted the defense over. We now have player th one passing over to player three and now we're shifting the defense again player four is popping out and now player five is setting a screen down for player two player two is popping up this could be a nice open shot for player two if not this could be a dribble handoff with player two as well player five is going to then shift out dribble handoff with player two that's going to bring up player two red again this will be player three rolling into the paint and we're going to be having possibly a paint touch which means that these players may be coming over to play some defense in which case we're going to have two players open and so on and so forth now against a 3-2 zone we're going to be in single coverage up top we're going to have player one pass over to player three and player one is going to be cutting down player four is going to be popping up at this time the defense is going to shift like this Player 5 is going to set his screen, player 3 is going to be popping up, and player 5 is going to be rolling towards the basket. He could hit player 5 because that would collapse the defense and he could pass out. But let's say he's not open, let's say player 5 collapsed on him, player 4 stayed where he was, and this is really good defense. Player 5 is going to then roll back out. We're going to pass over to player 4, who is then going to be shifting the defense over. And now before that defense, player 3 shifts over, we could have a quick pass to player 2 which could bring out player 4 and player 1 could be then open for the extra pass. There's always those options so there, it's always good to have a, a knowledge of how this play works and how the defense, different defenses work against it. We're going to have player 2 setting that screen for player 1. Player 1 is going to receive that ball. Player 2 is going to be rolling towards the basket. Player 2 may be open. This is going to collapse the defense, in which case he can kick out to player 5 or to player 3 for a 3-point shot. And then this def this offense would then could just continue to roll through uh, like a motion or con continuity offense like I've been showing you.
Now these are great basketball plays to run. Continuity and motion offenses are my favorite offense to run with a lot of younger teams, but majority of just any team possible because they can be ran against motion or against man-to-man -man as well as zone defenses. Now, make sure to go check out those two basketball defense books I mentioned earlier. They are absolutely fantastic and a lot of coaches have been winning a lot of games by a lot of points by using those two defensive strategies. Okay, I want to see you guys later on today for the second video of the day.